Um, yeah, saving all my best stuff for when they could be publicly available and not just specifically to like some of the YouTubers but about him. As a Taoist, like I use my other Taoist IUD video, understanding is the way to, like, death is not a solution, war is not a solution. Understanding is the way to educate your enemies until you're both on the same page. And then there's no enemies, you know. Such a thing as enemies anyway, if you're a big boy, you're playing the big boy book, you're playing about your big boy game. It's page one stuff. But, um, yeah, so I just want to tell America how terrible they are, their flag, basically, so I need to get to the problem, so. The problem is a lot of conquest in the world, and, uh, and that's how I get to it, and making it an example out of America, and shame America, which is, they're not the only ones, I imagine, there's lots of other people, but I'm going to shame America because they have their flag, and it's a perfect flag, I love the American, do you know the essence of most stuff in life is in the American flag, it's a great flag, they don't, they don't do it, they do it terribly, yeah, they do it terribly, but America's like, you know the way you got a gold trim sometimes around the American flag, they have more like a dragon's mouth around the American flag. So they're still doing the American flag thing, or trying, they're not really actually, but they're still putting a big dragon around it. Stars won't be born into a country, they will not breed stars into a, a land where it is already consumed by the dragon. They won't send angels there, so even if you have perfect water, perfect sun, perfect pot flower, perfect seed, will not be Israel, it will not be blessed if it's going to be born into the mouth of a dragon. You, you, that's what's the thing about America is they make perfect probably Christian communities are different, like every different to community in America, every community, like states are communities, they're based on the size of Ireland, <laughs> um, you know, island size places. Um, but anyway, that's why America conquest because they don't grow stars anymore, and they go hard. They go conquest abroad, and they have a mirror, mirror on the wall thing or something. Alexis and they're like, oh look at how starry Vietnam are. Oh, wow, is Vietnam are really starry? Or look how starry Iraq or Iran or Afghanistan might be. Despite you thinking these places are like whatever, they're doing something you're not. Pakistan, for example, has got uh, Ireland. You know, look how starry Ireland is. Look how starry Pakistan is. And they go conquest on these lands, which is exactly anti-flag. That's exactly against the flag. But they're desperate. We found our liberties and our, our blah, 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 are at risk. And the only way we can justify the matter is like by blowing up mosques in the Middle East. Yeah. I don't know where to start. The frustration and the contradiction and... Um, if not the very top flag stripe on your flag, you know, the very top flag when it's next to the stars, so you get the stars to the left, as in Indian America, and the one stripe on top. That's probably the Joseph family, you know, Islam and Christianity. And if you're blowing up religious leaders or socially, you know, people of this family and this, you know, you're, you're really not good at the old flag, are you, you know, Joe? <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's where they go conquesting, and my method was just to teach America, you don't need to go conquesting on other people's countries, causing the woe, which causes the havoc on the stars, and causes the havoc on the earth for everybody, and bowls of wrath, and just, if you were just good at your flag, so you, you have a mouth consumer, so... Basically, in America, you're breeding perfect Christian or ideal communities, whatever type of ideal community you're breeding, Israel, you're trying to do it. But then you're waiting for a produce, you're waiting for a result. And you're going to get them, and you're going to be, like, you know, exploiting your genius uh, kids with brushes of autism and beautifulness and wonderful talent. And you might give them a job, and you might, but you're harvesting them the entire time. Like, the main thing is you're exploiting them. And that is the jaws of the dragon. You have to not know about them, to be honest. I know it's weird to think. We're putting all this effort into a produce. And we're not supposed to know about it. The less you know, the better. Because the more natural their lives will be. And you want this natural cow poo. But yeah, so... No, it is... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And stop bombing everybody. You, know, you won't need to conquest if you just did it yourselves. And you could... 
born and made in America, stars made in America, like you're boasting 50 stars, you know. I've got a, I've got a nugget genius, and this is the smartest thing that I've ever heard. Probably, probably the smartest man I've ever probably known of, Roald Dahl. Everybody shall get one, but one is enough for everybody. And it's just the smartest fucking thing ever. It works for him, you know, Slugworth works for Wonka. Alright, well, um, yeah, America would be better for just at your flag if you have questions and you're American or you're offended or anything. Um, I'm happy to talk with you. I'm, and I'm like Nietzsche. I, I, like, I am very much like Nietzsche, you know, it's very annoying me so much. Nobody will comment or criticise me or challenge me. And I'll just write at your homo then, I'll just criticize myself, my, criticize myself. I was like, all I have to do is suppose no one else is going to criticize my work. Why am I such a fucking genius? <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Um, have I said about the American flag? The yellow trim all around is Christianity. And so that's a statement of stability. If you have the yellow trim all around it, you have a, a Christian stability. Where Christianity is recognized holistically. If you respected Christian Joseph family, you would respect Islam, and you're a Christian trying to be a friend of the Joseph family. You go to church, you're trying to nuzzle in, hey Joseph family, I'd love to be your friend. I'd love to get drunk on your wine without having to drink all the time. So obviously you'd be nice to all the Muslims, Islams, because they are the friends and family of Mr. Joseph. <laughs> I wanted to make it also clear, you know, it's supposed to be on TV or radio and I'll drop bombs and make it very clear to everyone who Islam, Christian, Islam and Christianity are and one another and stuff. And the Jews would be happy that everybody knows it much more and they won't feel so stressed, you know, they'll be relaxed. Ah, everything is fine. But yep. So, uh, sub conquesting and whoa, heard the fact I've been singing, you know, in Iraq and all. Oh, I never did. <laughs> Even my 14 sons were buried in this rubble. Even Biden just came out with it like a holy confession to the world. And said, we just bombed her around the Pope of the Middle East. <laughs> like the Pope. You know, kind of guy. Blunt and cold, weird statement. Yeah, we're not really good at the flag anyway. So get your TLC, Joe. Tether corrections.